this lesson? What's this lesson called? Huh? What happened? What happened? All right. Do you know what the, what happened means? What does what happened means? When do we ask this? What does what happened mean? Friday. Hmm? Friday. Okay. What do you think? What is what happened? When do we say what happened? Yeah, when we want to find out, you know, about an event and what took place. What happened? What happened yesterday? Huh? What happened to you? All right. Now, look at this question. What makes an interesting holiday experience? Okay. In other words, do you like going on holiday? Do you have uh, summer holidays? Yeah. What do you like to do when you're on holiday? How do you relax? I, I, I spend uh, a lot of time mm -hmm. in, uh, in uh, doing mm -hmm. extra uh, okay. swimming. After okay. All right. Very good. What do you like to do when you're on holiday? What do you like to do when you're on holiday? Huh? Guys, right here, Khaled, what do you like to do on holiday? Hmm? When you don't have school. When school is over, to relax, what do you like to do? Yes, Said? Hiking. 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 You like hiking, eh? Walking, all right. You like to do that on holiday. What do you like to do? Visit the site. I am the site. Okay. Yes? Visit my uncle. You like to visit your uncle. Where does your uncle live? Uh, in uh, Kasim. In Kasim, okay. Very good. Okay, what do you like to do on holiday? When you're on holiday, when you're on vacation, you know? What do you like to do? To relax? You like visiting family? Yes. Swimming, maybe? Okay, yes? You like to play football, okay? So that, for you, an interesting holiday is playing football or visiting your uncle. That's interesting, eh? All right, very good. Now, What's your opinion about the following activities? Do you know what these are? What is hiking? Does anybody know what hiking is? What does hiking mean? Hmm? What is hiking? What do you think? Yes? Jump. Jump. It's jumping? Mm? No. It's walking. Walking. You know, go hiking in the mountains, you know, go walking to walk in the mountains, okay, to go hiking. What about, what is uh, cycling? What is cycling? What does cycling mean? Huh? What's a bicycle? Ride a uh, Right, to ride a bicycle. Eh? Cycling is to ride a bicycle. You know what a, you know, a two wheels, bicycle? Huh? You know what a bicycle is? 
Yes, okay. All right, that's cycling. What about rock climbing? Uh, what does climbing, right? Okay, climbing a mountain, eh? Rock climbing. What about scuba diving? Swimming underwater, right? Underwater, right? Eh? With a gear and a mask and oxygen, okay? What is sightseeing? Sightseeing. Yeah, to go see the sights, eh? See interesting places. To go see, uh, for example, the city, go see interesting monuments, and so on. And shopping? Go to the mall. Okay. All right. Let me show you here some pictures. I'm going to show you some pictures, and you tell me what it is, which one it is, okay? Okay, what's this? What do you think this is? Huh? Hiking? Are you sure? Hiking. Yes, this is hiking. Very good. What about... This one, what's this? Louder. Cycling. Cycling, excellent. What about this one? Hmm? Rock climbing, eh? He's climbing a rock, eh? Rock climbing. Very good. What about, who can tell me what this one is? Scuba diving. Uh, scuba diving, are you sure? Is it hiking, maybe? Scuba diving. Yes, it's scuba diving. Yeah. Hiking, remember, it's, this is hiking here. This is hiking. To walk, you know, explore. So this is scuba diving, eh, with a mask and uh, oxygen. And you go in the water. This is scuba dive. Okay, what about here? What is this woman doing? Shopping, shopping eh, at the supermarket, eh? For groceries, shopping. Okay, what about uh, this man here? Uh, what is he doing? He's looking at a map. He's going, where is he going? Sightseeing. He's reading about the sights. Okay, he's going to go see the sights, eh? sightseeing. Okay, what other activities do you like to do on holiday? What other activities, fun activities? Shopping. Hmm? Shopping? Okay, but other ones, different ones? Any other activities? Do you like, have you done this before? What is this? Eh? In the desert, eh? Going camping, perhaps, or driving, drifting in the <laughs> desert. Eh? Eh? You, might, you like this? <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, so anyway, which of these activities would you like to try? Which one would you like to try? Zaid, which one would you like to try? Which of these activities do you like? Shopping, Shopping okay. Uh, what about you, uh, Fawaz? Which one of these activities would you like to try? Cycling. Cycling, okay. You, Yusef? Hiking. You'd like to try the hiking? Okay, Mohammed? <laughs> you like hiking. Another one? Abdul Aziz? Which one? Hiking. Hiking, all right. Nasser? Uh, shopping. shopping, all right. What about uh, you, Rashad? Okay, which one? Rock climbing? Okay, very good, interesting. So these are different activities that we can do on holiday, eh? when we go on holiday. All right. Oh, wait. I have to use the pencil, right? All right, now, open your books to uh, unit or module 2A. Open your books to page 20. Page 20. Now, <coughs> okay, look at these pictures, look at these pictures, okay? What do you think 
happened here? What happened? What's going on? What happened? Who can tell me? What happened? Okay, what's, what's this man uh, doing? What sport? Which activity is he doing? Cycling. He's cycling, okay. Now, is he having a difficulty? Is it difficult, you think? It's hard? Yeah, I am. It's very hard for him, okay? Because why? Why is it hard for him? Eh? What's, the, eh? What's the weather like here? Is it good? No, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult because there's mud, okay? Mud is rain and uh, sand together. We have mud. Eh? When we have rain and the soil, when it's wet, dirt, it's mud. So it's difficult eh, to ride. Okay, now let's listen to this dialogue and find out what happened to this man. Okay, let's listen and read at the same time. Oops. Okay. Module 2. What an experience. 2A. What happened? 1. Listening and reading. B. Look at the pictures. What do you think the dialogue is about? Listen and check your answers. Let me show you some pictures from our cycling trip in the south of France. Okay. How was it? It was nice, but it was a bit tiring. Look, here's one outside the hotel on our first day. We were tired from the car journey, so we didn't ride much that day. But the next day we went on a long ride. Too long. We decided to go to this gorge. But the hills were really steep in that area. Frank was pushing his bike most of the way up. Yet, you weren't helping at all. You were taking pictures of me all the time. Here's one. It looks very muddy. And that's before the rain. The water came down like a river. Sounds dangerous. No, actually, it was exciting. Yeah, and when we managed to reach the top, we were amazed. The view down into the gorge was fantastic. Did you take any pictures then? Sorry, but with all that rain, the camera got wet and stopped working. So all that effort, no pictures to show for it? I'm afraid so. Okay. So this was now the dialogue, okay? I'm going to ask you some questions. See what you've understood. Where did they go cycling? Where? Where did they go cycling? Hmm? Where did they go cycling? Who knows? North, uh, France. They went in the north of France? South, 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 south. Right, in the south of France. Eh? Very good. Now, what does uh, Frank think about their, uh, the cycling trip? What does Frank think about the cycling trip? What is Frank's opinion about the cycling trip? Hmm? What does he say? Mohammed, what do you think here? What does Frank think about the cycling trip? Did he like it? Huh? How was it? How was the cycling trip? Hmm? What do you think, Yusuf? It was muddy. All right? Yes? Hmm? You agree? The road was not very good. Okay. So the cycling trip was nice. Okay, but it was, it was what? Was it easy? It was hard. It was tiring. Eh? Tiring means whew, it's very difficult. Eh? It's like, whew, I'm tired. So it was nice, but it was very difficult, very tiring. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what was the weather like? What was the weather like on this trip? It was sunny? No, it was? Rain. It was raining, right, exactly. Uh, how did the two men feel? How did they feel when they got to the top, when they reached the top of the mountain? How did they feel? What does it say? Steep. Huh? Okay, it was very steep, yes, and how did they feel when they reached the top? Were they happy or sad? Happy. Uh, they were happy. They were what? What's the word? 
amazed. They felt amazed. Eh? They were amazed to reach the top finally, okay? All right. Uh, and uh, was the view very good? Was the view very nice? Yeah. Hmm? Yes, fantastic. Okay. Fascinating. Fantastic view. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, now, I have chosen five words here. Gorge, push, steep, hill, and muddy. I want you to tell me, I'm going to give you these five pictures, and I want you in groups to tell me what the pictures are. Okay? Now, one, two, three, four, five. This is your picture. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. This is your picture. You will work together. This is your picture. Okay, you guys work together, and you guys work together here. Decide which picture is this. The gorge, the hill, push, steep, and muddy. Which one is it? Which picture do you have? Okay, let's see, this picture. Show us your picture. Show us the picture. Pick it up. Okay. Look at this picture. Okay. Which word does it show? Which one is it? What do you think? What? It, this is steep. Do you agree? Is the man? What is he doing here? No. What is it? What's that picture? Push. Okay. So what does push mean? Push. Eh? Yeah, to push a car, to push something, okay? All right. Who has the word muddy? Show me muddy. Who has the word muddy? Muddy road. Who's got muddy? Who do you think has got muddy here? Is that muddy? Yes. Eh? This is muddy. Okay, muddy means what? When there's water, okay, and sand together, okay, and soil, okay, this is mud. It's wet uh, dirt, okay? So muddy. All right. What's a hill? Who has the word hill? What's a hill? Hmm? Yes, this is a hill, okay? You see? We have, for example, this is a mountain. But this one is a small mountain. It's a hill. Hill, okay? A hill is a small, oops, small mountain. Okay. Now, what about the word gorge? Who has the word gorge? What's a gorge? Yes, right here, okay? This is a gorge, okay? It's, for example, a mountain, okay? And there's, here in this case, okay, there's like a river here, with the sides of a mountain going down, okay? This is a gorge, okay? In between, yes. And then we have steep. Steep, who has steep? Right, steep is something that is abrupt. For example, let me show you. Anyways, <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. If the mountain is like this, this is not steep. But if it goes like this, this is steep. steep. It's difficult, it's steep, it's straight down, okay? That's steep, okay. All right, now, this was some uh, difficult vocabulary in the text. Do you understand this uh, text? Huh? Let's listen to it one more time, okay? Let's listen and read one more time, okay? Because it's a bit uh, challenging. Module two. Okay, let's listen and read. What an experience. 2A. What happened? 1. Listening and reading. B. Look at the pictures. What do you think the dialogue is about? Listen and check your answers. Let me show you some pictures from our cycling trip in the south of France. Okay. How was it? It was nice, but it was a bit tiring. Look, here's one outside the hotel on our first day. We were tired from the car journey. 
So we didn't ride much that day, but the next day we went on a long ride. Too long. We decided to go to this gorge, but the hills were really steep in that area. Frank was pushing his bike most of the way up. Yes, you weren't helping at all. You were taking pictures of me all the time. Here's one. It looks very muddy, and that's before the rain. The water came down like a river. Sounds dangerous. No, actually, it was exciting. Yeah, and when we managed to reach the top, we were amazed. The view down into the gorge was fantastic. Did you take any pictures then? Sorry, but with all that rain, the camera got wet and stopped working. So all that effort, no pictures to show for it. I'm afraid so. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to read this text and answer the questions in exercise C. Okay? Read the text and answer these questions. All right? You can do it together in groups, in pairs. You can do it to work together, work together, you two work together, okay? okay. Work together, the two of you, the two of you, the two together. Okay, you guys work together. The three work together, okay? The three of you. So try to find try to find the answers, okay? I will give you five, six minutes to find these answers, okay? And also I want you to tell me where the answer is. Okay? Show me in the text where the answer is. Alright, so go ahead, I'll give you five, six minutes to do this exercise. Finished? All of them? All five questions? Oh, only number one. All of them, all of them, not just number one. I want you to do all of them, not just number one, all of them, all five. Okay, so, con so continue. Uh, no, not where. Who? Person. Who? Which person? Who was with Frank? Mm -hmm. Finished? Okay. All five questions? Okay. Which person? You can show you them. Okay. okay. He was with? With Martin. Hmm? With Martin. Okay. I know some of you are not finished. It's okay. We're going to do them together. Okay. Now, number one. Who was with Frank on the cycling trip? Who was with Frank? Okay, what do you believe, uh, Ali? Who was with Frank? Who was with Frank on the cycling trip? Martin, do you agree? Who was with Frank? Huh? Yes, it's Martin. Okay, and we know this because it says, look, here's one outside on our hotel on our first day. But the next day we went on a long ride, so it's Martin that was with, <coughs> with Frank. What did they do on the second day? So what did the two guys do on the second day? Okay, Abdul Rahman. They went on a long ride. Very good. They went on a long ride. Or you can say also, sorry, right here, they went to a gorge. Same thing, okay? Two answers here. Okay, you see. But the next day we went on a long ride. We decided to go to this gorge, okay? Now, who's got the answer to number three? Why did Frank have trouble on the journey to the gorge? Why did Frank have trouble on the journey to the gorge? Okay, what do you believe, Fahaz? Uh, because the hills were really mm -hmm. uh, steep.
Okay, because the hills were steep in that area. Do you, other reasons. You agree? Yes, Yusuf? Uh huh. But yes, the hills were very steep in that area, okay? They were like, it's not like smooth, they were like this. So he had to push, exactly, because the hills were really steep. Why wasn't Martin helping Frank? Why wasn't Martin helping Frank? What, what, what was he doing? What was Martin doing and why wasn't he helping him? Hmm? What do you think, Khaled? Picture. Picture. He was taking pictures? Yes. Okay, do you agree? Yes. What do you say, think, Ahmad? Uh, he was taking pictures uh, to Frank. Okay, very good. Because he was taking pictures of Frank all the time. Okay? He was too busy taking pictures instead of helping him. And number five, why didn't they take pictures of the gorge? Why didn't they? Gulaziz. Because we all that one. Because? Because we all that one. Okay. What do you think? Yes. Yes, uh, Abdul Rahman? Okay, right, it's because of all that rain, like you said, okay, the camera was stopped working, okay? Okay, because with all that rain, the camera got wet, okay, and stopped working. See, if uh, an electronic device gets wet, then it breaks down, eh? it doesn't work. Okay, so this was uh, the last question. Any, uh, any questions about uh, this? Uh, text. Do you understand this text? Do you understand it? Yes. Anything you want to ask me? Any questions? No? no. no? no. Everything clear? Yes. yes. Okay. All right, let's go on to the vocabulary section. Okay, Faisal, can you read this sentence here? The first one. Read this sentence. Journey. We were tired, very good, from the car journey. Okay, can you read the second uh, sentence here? It will, who can read it? Okay, Zaid, read the second sentence. Mm -hmm. A bit tiring, right. Now, here we have ED, tired. And here we have ING, tiring. What is the difference here? We were tired. The journey, the trip, was tiring. What is the difference? What do you think? Uh, the one is uh, Wilson. Mm -hmm. For the person, how the person feels, right. It's about something else, OK? Exactly, very good. So, let me show you here. I need to use <laughs> this again. So, I'll use the green this time. When we have ED, oops. Okay, ED, it means how somebody Feels. ED. ING, okay, it means what somebody or something is. So ED, all right how somebody feels, ing, what somebody or something is. For example, if I say that I am 
tired, it means I feel tired, okay? If I say uh, this uh, exercise is tiring, it means that the exercise is tiring, okay? It's like difficult, all right? So for example, uh, if you don't like uh, this lesson, how do you feel? You feel boring or bored? If you don't like something, you feel boring or bored? Both. You feel boring? I feel boring, you say? Both. I feel Both. bored. Yeah. How somebody feels? I feel bored. If you say I am boring, it means that I'm not an interesting person. <laughs> it's not nice to say that about yourself. Eh? Now, for example, we say uh, this uh, book, this book is interesting or this book is interested? This book is interesting or this book is interesting? Remember, ED is how somebody feels. ING what something is. So this book is? Interesting, very good. This book is interesting, okay? Uh, what do I say? Uh, I, this experience is exciting or this experience is excited? Exciting. Exciting. exciting, what something is. How do I feel? Okay, I am excited. I ED, right, very good, okay? So for example, if I uh, walk into this room, okay, and then I see a camel here, what do I say? I am surprised or I am surprising? Surprised, how I feel, surprised, eh? but this is surprising, it's something, an action, okay, like how, what something is, okay, very good. Now, here we are, I'll give you two minutes, I want you to do this exercise, okay, you have to select the correct answer, the cor go ahead, you have two minutes to do it. You all finished? Yes. yes. Okay. Number one. Um, who can tell me? Okay, Nasser. What is the answer? Uh, okay, read the entire sentence. The entire sentence. No. The entire sentence. We left. So, what is the correct answer? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay, it was boring. What something is, it's boring, okay? Number uh, two, who can tell me the answer to number two? Okay, so. Nasser wants uh, to see uh, an old building on the ground. Okay, so Nasser was? Surprised or surprising? This one or this one? Surprised? Yes. How somebody feels. Okay? I'm surprised to see you here, you know? All right. Number three. Okay. Uh, okay, Rashid. I am, I am not going near that dog. It is broken and I am frightened. Frightened? Frightened. Okay. So it's... Frightened, do you agree? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, I'm not going near the dog, it's barking, you know, and I'm afraid, I'm frightened. How I feel? Frightened, okay? The dog is frightening. It's frightening the dog, eh? it's scary. But I feel frightened. All right. Number four. Everyone was about the graduation. Everyone was, okay, Mohammed, what do you think? Yeah. Exciting. Exciting or excited? It's exciting. Excited. Do you agree with Mohammed? Yes. Yes. Huh? yes. Everyone was excited about the graduation. Number five. Henry's son can do an amazed or amazing trick with a tennis ball. Amazing. Yes. He can do an amazing trick. And the last one. I travel quite a lot and I always meet interested or interesting people. 
Interested, you say, Abdulaziz? Interested. And who says interesting? ING? Yes. yes. I mean, interesting people, okay? What something or someone is. He's an interesting man, okay? He's interested. I am interested. I feel interested, okay? All right. Any questions? Do you understand? No questions? Yes. All right. Now we go to grammar, all right? Do you like grammar? Yes. Is, it, is grammar uh, difficult or easy? It's easy? Yeah, do you agree? No. You agree, uh, Fawaz? You think grammar is easy or difficult? Easy. Yeah, it depends. You say it's sometimes it's uh, easy, sometimes it's difficult. All right, okay. Don't worry. This is going to be easy, okay? You're all going to learn this. It's very easy. Okay, please uh, read the, the first sentence for me. Who wants to read the first sentence? Okay, uh, Khalid, read the first sentence. Read it. Read number. Mm -hmm. Right here. Read this. I was sent by my room all day yesterday. Yesterday, okay. I was painting my room all day yesterday. Okay. Mohammed, read the second sentence. Yeah, number two, yes. Blue. Okay. Now, here we have two sentences, all right? One of them is in the past progressive, and the other one is in the past simple. Hmm? Now, which one, an action that was completed in the past, an action that was happening, happening in the past, that was in progress? Which one, which sentence refers to an action that was completed in the past? It was completed. It started and finished. Which one? The first one or the second one? Nasser? The second one. Right. Okay. And an action that was in progress. Number one. Right. It means that it was happening. Okay. Like for example. Uh, Last night at 8 o'clock, I was reading a book. Okay, I was reading a book. It was in progress. It was happening. Okay. What were you doing last night at uh, 7 o'clock? What were you doing last night at 7 o'clock? I, uh, I was uh, playing football. I was playing football at 7 o'clock. What were you doing, Fahad? Last night at 8 o'clock, what were you doing? I was? Okay, I was eating. I was eating at 8 o'clock. Okay, now, let's look at here. And let's complete the, the rules here. It says, Frank was pushing his bike most of the way up. You were taking pictures of me all the time. How do we form the past progressive? How do we form it? What do we use? Was and or we use or were plus plus ing. All right. So, for example, okay, tell me, uh, what were you doing uh, last night at uh, six o'clock or seven o'clock, Abdullah? What were you doing at seven o'clock last night? I was. I was sleeping. I was what? Okay, you were sleeping. I was sleeping at 7 o'clock. What were you doing at 10 o'clock last night, Nasser? Uh, I was. You were doing what? What were you doing at 10 o'clock? I was. I was uh, cooking. You were cooking. I was cooking at 10 o'clock last night. What were you doing last night at uh, 11 o'clock, Abdul Rahman? What were you? Okay, the whole sentence? I was watched or I was watching TV last night at 11 o'clock. Okay? All right. Let's see. Here now, do you understand the, the past continuous? Okay? For an action that was in progress, that was happening. There's a duration here. It was happening. Okay? I was watched. But the past simple, okay, is completed. 
Okay, for example, you say, um, I saw my friend uh, Hassan yesterday. I saw him. Okay, it's complete. Yesterday, I saw him. Okay, or I uh, watched television yesterday. Complete. But you say, I was watching television at 6 o'clock. Okay, it's in progress. Yeah, you say, hey, um, I called you last night at 8 o'clock. What were you doing? You, you didn't answer. You say, oh, at 8 o'clock, I was uh, taking a shower. I was taking a bath. I was playing football. Okay, yes? I was going to school Okay, I was going to school at specific moment in the past. Eh? At, at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, I was going to school. Or, if it's complete action, I went to school. Eh? Okay. Now, you've also got the grammar reference section here. Okay, on page 127. Okay. Go to page 127 and read it. Okay, I just want you to quickly read it to yourselves. I want you to read this part here, past progress, this part here, okay? About the use of the past progressive. So read it. Here, this, read this, huh? this, I want you to read. This. Okay. Yeah, just have a look. Okay, so you see here, again, we have here the, the past progressive for actions that were happening at a specific point in the past. You understand it? Like, what were you doing at 6 o'clock? I was watching television. Okay? All right. But it's also used for, you know, to describe background scenes. Okay? I was walking in the forest. It was raining last night. Okay? And for two actions that were happening at the same time. For example, what were you doing last night at 7 o'clock? Rashid, what were you doing last night at 7 o'clock? I was eating. I was eating. And what about your brother? Do you have a brother? What was your brother doing at 7 o'clock? He was? What was your brother doing at 7? He was studying. He was studying? Okay. So you say, I was eating while my brother was studying. Okay? So you see we use it for actions that were happening at the same time. Okay? We usually use while for, for two people. What were you doing last night at 8 o'clock? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I was sleeping. I was, and what about your brother? Do you have a brother? Okay, what was your brother doing at 8 o'clock? My brother was uh, eating. Okay, so at 8 o'clock last night, okay, Ahmad was uh, sleeping while his brother was uh, eating. Okay, all right. Now, I want you to do this exercise. Go to page 21 again. Go to 21 and do this next exercise, number four. You have to put the verbs, okay, in the past uh, progressive, okay, where necessary. Okay, let's go over this together. Okay, um, go ahead, uh, Saud, read the, the first one. Exactly. I was calling your house, okay? Not I calling. I, I saw some of you write I calling. You forgot the was. Eh? It's important. I was calling you. Okay, the next one. Who wants to read it? Okay. Go ahead, Abdul Rahman. Well, it was uh, Friday and we uh, answered. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, what is the answer? We are not working. Right. And we were not or weren't working. Continue. Continue. Uh, so we uh, went to the beach. Mm -hmm. We were uh, having. Right. We were having a great time. Mm -hmm. Finish the sentence. Uh, a great time, and we uh, decided to spend the whole day there. Very good. Okay, Abdulaziz, the next one. Uh, yes. Uh, was it 
Do I read the sentence, the entire sentence? So? So did you uh, enjoy your third uh, hour was it uh, raining? Very good. Or was it raining? Because it's a question, eh? It's a question. So we have to put was it raining? Yeah, okay. No. Continue. Okay, for was? Very good. No, it wasn't raining, but it was very cold. Okay. Number three. Who wants to try number three? Number three. Go ahead, Zaid. I was. I was your enemy. I saw you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw you in the bookshop. Okay. Right, looking for. What were you looking for? Okay. All right. Hmm? Continue, Ahmad. Uh, a book about scuba diving. Why don't didn't you talk to me? I couldn't. I was driving. Okay. I right. I was driving to work. Okay. So you were looking for a book about scuba diving. Says, all right. And why didn't you talk to me? I couldn't. I was driving to work. Okay. So here we have now the. Uh, the key to the past uh, progressive. All right, so do you understand the past progressive? Yes, it's easy? All right, finally, the last exercise. Okay, we'll do this one together, the speaking activity, very quickly together, because I think we're running out of time. All right, I, let's imagine this. I went on an adventure. I had an adventure, okay? You now, all of you, are reporters you are reporters okay I want you to ask me questions about my adventure what questions you're gonna ask me here ask me these questions about my adventure and I will tell you about myself okay and my adventure for example it says here so when did it happen it happened the last year Okay, so you are a rep reporters. Ask me a question about my adventure. Ask me, use the first one. Yes, Ahmad. Uh, when it happened. Okay, when it happened. did it happen? Okay, when did it happen? Okay, it happened, uh, this adventure I had happened uh, two years ago. It happened uh, two years ago. Okay, the next one. Ask me. Who's going to ask me? Okay. Ask me, Saud. Uh, where uh, did she was? Okay, you have to ask me. You're asking me. Where? 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 Very good. So where were you? Okay. I was uh, in the mountains. Okay. Hiking. I went hiking in the mountains. All right. The next question. Ask me. What? Mm -hmm. uh, how well you uh, felt? Okay. How did I feel? Well, I felt frightened. I felt scared. Why? Ask me. Ask me another question. Mm -hmm. Abdul Aziz. What were me? What were you? Okay, what was I doing? Okay, what were you doing? What was I doing? I was walking in the mountains, hiking, okay, in the mountains, and then, okay, I got lost. I got lost, okay? I lost my, uh, the, tr the trail, and I didn't know where I was, okay? All right, anyway. We're out of time now. We, have, we don't have any more time. So I just want to say that, um, okay, this was uh, a very interesting experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I will give you also your homework. Don't forget, you have some homework, all right? Uh, but I just want to say that this was very interesting, okay? And uh, you're all, uh, you know, good students, but you need to study harder, okay? You need to practice. And remember, if you want to learn English, it's not enough just to come to class, okay? You have to go home and you have to study. You have to read, 
okay? Don't think that you're going to learn just by coming to class, okay? You have to do your homework, okay? And, and try to read as much English as possible. You know, go on the internet, read something in English, okay? You can perhaps watch some uh, video in English, okay? Try to understand in English, okay? Now, your homework, <laughs> all right, let's see. You'll also have some uh, things to do here. From the workbook, where is the workbook? Here we go. Now, you have the workbooks, and right? you have this book? Yes? So, do you have this workbook? This is going to be your homework, okay? I would like you to do exercise uh, A. Okay, you have to choose the correct answer. We are all about going to the festival. So you have to choose the correct one. We are all excited or exciting? What's the answer? Excited about going to the because something <coughs> exciting always happens. Okay, so you have to do this exercise for homework, the rest. Exercise B, okay, you have to do this. Musa was at a cafe with a colleague. Look at the pictures and write what they were doing. What was Musa and Khaled doing? You have to use the past progressive. What were they doing? They were? Okay, use the verb here. They were? Now, past progressive, not they were have, they were? Having. Right. Khaled was having coffee, okay? All right. Here? He was? He was? He was using? Yes? Very good, okay? Musa was using his laptop, okay. And this activity also, exercise uh, C. You have to write questions using the prompts, okay? And then look at the pictures to answer. Okay, what's the question here? It says, Ibrahim sleep yesterday morning. So we want to ask. I no, we have about Ibrahim. You were. No? When? Was. Was. Was he? Was he, yes? Was he uh, sleeping? Yesterday. yesterday morning. Okay, was. Ibrahim sleeping yesterday morning. Was he sleeping? No. no. What was he doing? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was playing football. Okay. So this is going to be your homework. You have to finish this for next time. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. Now before you go, I have a little. Uh, gift for you because you were very good students i have some chocolate to give you okay thank you okay you're welcome there you go you're welcome nice to meet you too There you go. Okay, so again, uh, thank you. You were uh, wonderful. Okay, so keep studying. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Okay, I enjoyed it very much. Okay, and I hope to see you again in another lesson. Okay, okay. Bye bye. <laughs>